Good morning, folks. Sammy here with another video. Today's video, we're visiting this area. There's a building that I'm interested in covering. Uh, some of you may recall what it is. It's a Naval Warfare Assessment Division building. And I'll tell you more what, what it was for once we get there. But this is the area so you can familiarize where it's at. Uh, you can see in the map. All right, let's go there. Here we are, my friends, the NWAT building, the Naval Warfare Assessment Division uh, building. Uh, like you saw on the air shots, uh, it's pretty much covered by bushes, but we were able to fly the drone and, and get some uh, footage from the air, which is pretty neat. You saw that uh, satellite uh, that I flew to, which was connected to this building as well. Uh, so pretty neat there. So let me tell you a little bit about what this uh, building was for. So the Navy would do training operations, right? They would, they would shoot missiles at, at boats, at air targets, which uh, I've covered in, in another video, that site as well. You can take a look at it up here. I'll leave the card there so you can see it if you haven't. Um, and the, the, that data needs to be collected. Um, and this is the building where they collected that data. So, you know, the missile will fly. Uh, they would collect the data of, of that missile until, uh, until the impact, if there was an impact, or until the missile died in the water, um, if there was no impact at the time. And that data would serve uh, to the military, to the Navy, uh, for assessment uh, and training of the troops. Uh, if they were you know, misses or any other problems with the missiles, that data would get uh, tra uh, transmitted to the people, who, engineers that would take care of that kind of, kinds of issues. Um, so I knew a little bit about the building before. However, I wasn't, you know, 100% sure. So I, so I collected some data from uh, Arturo Quinones. Um, shout out to him and thanks for the data. Uh, the, he, he retired from this building. He put 30 plus years in this building. So he knew a lot of what was uh, done in this building. So let's take a look inside and see what's left of the building. Uh, but more or less, that, that's a summary of what was done. A similar operation to this uh, is done in PMRF in Hawaii. Uh, this, is, uh, this building was 
the, the matrix of the building, or I should say, um, the people that control this building, NAFC in Corona, California, um, there's another division of this, of this over there. And that also is linked to the MATS operation in Hawaii, which is, I was able to, to be a part of. Um, you can see, you can look up some of that as well. But without further ado, let's, let's go take a look at the building.
there you have it. That's the Inwat building. Pretty interesting. It has three stories. Uh, I only knew of the first floor. I, I never had gone down to the other floors. It seems to be office space in, in the second floor down and a mechanical room in the last floor down. Uh, and the patio, which seems to hold uh, a fire pump and some of the other stuff that you, you saw in the video. So that's it for this, for this video. Hope you uh, wa keep watching my channel. Subscribe, like if you haven't, and see you in the next one.